I do a lot of videos about the causes of back pain and herniated discs and bulging discs and sort of all the mechanisms that might cause it. And I do some about the treatment, but what I wanted to do today is sort of combine them all because lately I've had a couple of questions of people I know watch the videos that maybe are a little bit confused. So I want to tie it all together in one video. So this might take a little bit. I'll try to get through it. But this is really about how to heal your herniated disc and avoid surgery because most people, they have herniated disc, think they're going to have to have surgery. How to avoid it and also be strong enough and stable enough so you can be active and do all the things that you love to do. And I think this is the first time I ever put love in the title. So there you go, right there. So this is really about what happens, how to fix it, and how you can do it at home, because you can do it at home. We're all, we're all at home right now, so now is a good time to get the home program, to get back on your feet and get your life back, really. So this has come about as a result of 30 years of working on back pain and also suffering for 10 years. I really struggled a lot for 10 years, chronic back pain, chronically depressed, couldn't do anything, couldn't play golf. I didn't play golf for 10 years. And now I can play golf. I never had surgery. I don't take any medicine. I've had it all, herniated disc, bulging disc. You've sort of, sort of seen all this, but it's been a progressive sort of process over the 30 years of learning a lot and doing a lot of scientific studies that have been published. We've been featured on several different TV shows, but this is really about five things that we discovered that are instrumental in helping you get rid of your herniated disc pain and being functionally stable so you can absolutely truly live the rest of your life without any back pain. So we've discovered five things along the way, doing all these different scientific studies. And number one, what we discovered is that there are five steps. This is not necessarily the order we made these discoveries, but this is the order that's important for you to understand it, because this kind of came at the end. But there are five steps, and you have to do these five steps in the right order. And if you go through the five steps, as opposed to one step or two steps, if you do all five steps, then you can do all the things you wanna do. You can dance, you can run, you can climb, you can walk, travel, work out, lift weights, sleep, play sports, tennis, golf, all the things you wanna do. There's a sequence of events. There's five steps. Talk just real quick about the spine. 24 vertebrae between the head and the hips. In between each vertebrae, there is a disc. The disc allows for motion. Disc is like a jelly donut. And through everyday life, and really a life now that we sit a lot, what happens is the disc load changes, forces the jelly out, which is the nucleus, and ultimately can start to cause some tearing of the annulus, real common. Everybody gets it, it's not that big a deal, but what happens in the beginning is it hurts a lot and it kind of freaks you out and you think you're gonna to have to have surgery, you don't need the surgery, okay? But what happens is the disc starts to push out, that's the herniation, okay? So number one, we discovered there is a sequence. Number two, what we discovered is that you have to go in the proper order. If you reverse some of the steps, you tend to cause more damage. And when you reverse the steps, what you end up doing is overloading the disc. It's, I don't want to call it baby steps, but you have to do it step by step by step by step. And in the beginning, it's very simple. I always say you're one step away from getting your life back. This is it. It's step, and some of, it, some of the treatment is really just taking little steps, okay? So we, we know that there is an order. And if you go out of order, you're gonna to start to have some problems. This is the order. We're gonna talk more about this at the end because it's important that you understand what each portion of the order is, but the beginning one is healthy movement patterns because we know that abnormal movement patterns, which is discovery number three, tends to cause the discs to herniate. Movement patterns cause the discs to move. And what we've identified by doing upright MRIs, we did MRIs standing up and then we had you bend and we looked at those discs and we said, what are the discs doing with these movement patterns? And we identified that certain movement patterns cause the discs to get worse. 
but not everybody's the same. But this is when we discovered that discs get worse, okay? And that constant motion over a bad disc ultimately will cause the disc to get aggravated. And it's a lot like hitting your thumb with a hammer. We've talked about this a lot, okay? When you start to move on that disc that is torn, you start to develop changes in the nervous system. And again, it's like hitting your thumb with a hammer. I don't know where my thumb hammer is, it's way over there. Hitting your thumb with a hammer, and then it gets swollen, and then it becomes very, very sensitive. And sometimes just simple touching, it hurts a lot. Same thing happens to the disc. It's that constant motion on the, t the tear that causes more inflammation, and then it hurts. This is the abnormal movement patterns. Move in the wrong position, you're going to aggravate it. A lot of therapies that you get put you in the wrong position. Just talked to somebody yesterday was doing therapy and they kept putting them in the wrong position. Said, I'm not getting better. And what happens is when you do that therapy and they're giving you the wrong therapy and you're aggravating that disc, it gets to the point you say, you know, I can't take it anymore. I have to go get surgery. You didn't need the surgery. Matter of fact, the surgery is probably going to make you worse, worse than you already are. You didn't need the surgery. They just put you in the wrong position, doing it in the wrong order. Okay. It's like having a tear. This is a tear, a cut. Cut on your hand and you're moving your hand all the time. Okay, it's not gonna heal. It's gonna get aggravated. It's gonna be very sore. It's gonna hurt all the time. And ultimately what happens is you physically get changes inside the nervous system. You get an inflammatory process in the spinal cord. That process then becomes oversensitive. And that's when you start to get really, really, really bad back pain and sometimes they're really, really bad leg pain because the nervous system is oversensitive. It's that chronic motion. Okay, we've developed a relief routine. It's the best movement patterns that help unload the disc. Very, very, very important. We call it the IBI relief routine. Actually, phase one. Phase one is the relief routine. It's healthy movement patterns to help taking the pressure off the disc and decrease the inflammatory process. Very, very important. Okay, here's the fourth thing that we learned. We learned that there are three type of movement patterns. So it's not one, and what happens is you go to therapy, they treat you all the same. Physical therapy, it's one size fits all. It's not one size fits all. We've discovered there are three movement patterns, and there are very specific exercises for each pattern. Again, it was the analysis, the MRIs. We did 5,000 MRIs. This is what we discovered. Okay, we only did this because of what happened to me. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done it. We just have done every, what everybody else does. Ours is different for that exact reason. And as we progressed down this path, we knew that some patients weren't getting better the way we expected them to, and that's when we started doing all the MRIs. And that's when we discovered that there are three patterns. But each pattern needs a unique set of movements, a unique set of stretches, and a unique set of exercises. They're not the same. Absolutely not the same. And it has everything to do with how the disc is loaded and posture and muscle imbalance and muscle patterns, okay? You put them through the five steps, three patterns, five steps, stretches and exercises. The fifth important discovery is that you will start to develop changes in the nervous system causing altered reciprocal inhibition, okay? Central sensitization is an inflammatory process in the nerves and the nervous system starts to break down a little bit. It doesn't physically break down, but there's changes in the sensitivity of the nerves. They're oversensitive. That's one of them. Number two is where you get muscle imbalance. It's called glute amnesia. We talked about that. We did one the other day about the ankle sprains causes glute amnesia, but more importantly, sitting all day long causes glute amnesia. We have more back pain now than ever because of glute amnesia, because we sit all day long. And it starts to overload the disc. So you will start to develop changes, okay? Sometimes you get it one side, which is called unilateral, and sometimes you get it both sides. So sometimes it's just one glute. Sometimes it's both glutes. If you sit all day long, you tend to get it in both. But if you've ever had an ankle problem, ankle sprain, broken ankle, things like that, problem with your foot, or sort of modified your movement patterns, and there was some girding right there, sometimes you get it on one side. But that is also changes in the nervous system.
Okay, a lot of what happens with the back, including with herniated discs, is you get changes in the nervous system. So it's really a software problem. Okay, the software is not working. It's not a hard problem. It's not a hard bone problem. Okay, you'd have a disc problem, but in the end, it's a software problem. So everything that we do is designed to stabilize these components. It's the software. So you can fix this at home because you can fix the movement patterns and the strength, what ultimately leads to what's called lower cross syndrome. So here's a recap. There are three different movement patterns, changes in the disc. Each one requires a certain set of movements, stretches, and exercises. And there are five steps, okay? This is the key to solving back pain. If you don't do it in this right order, or if you're doing the wrong pattern and you're not doing the right movements, you're not doing it the right order, it doesn't go away. And people say, oh, back pain is so confusing. It's very confusing. It's not confusing. It really is not confusing, okay? You get a lot of different treatments trying to solve a problem, but if you don't do this, it's not gonna go away. Lasers, acupuncture, medicine, uh, electrotherapy, passive therapy, surgery, injections. This is what you need right here. This, this solves everything. Okay, we've had patients that needed surgery that went through the program, didn't have surgery. We have had patients that had surgery, got worse, went through the program, got better. Okay, this is what we call the 10X program. It's these steps. It's these steps. There are five components. Okay, we've talked about the components. Component number one is healthy movement patterns. It takes three months to go through the program, okay? You start in one position and move your way up. So the very first thing you have to do is the healthy movement patterns. That is gonna reset the nervous system, but this is our relief routine. This is what the relief routine is. It's the healthy movement patterns. It's where you start. And what it does is you start to feel better. You have less pain less inflammation in the nervous system. This is the key. This is the relief routine. Phase one, step one. Step number two is you have to create stability, but at the same time, you need to know which movement patterns are necessary for you. There's a way to do that. We have a solution for that. It's a questionnaire you fill out. Really very simple, okay? But phase number two is you create stability. The whole idea behind stability is having the muscles working the way they should in the spine, both in the erectors, the obliques, and the rectus, okay, abdominis. These muscles have to be working the way they're supposed to, to hold the spine. They're, those are the muscles that hold the spine. So it's these muscles have to be doing what they're doing. That's number two, get them doing what they're doing. Number three is create endurance in those muscles. Same muscles, okay? Endurance is the ability for the muscle to hold for long periods of time. Strength and endurance are not the same. If I had you curling with 100 pounds, you could, might be able to do it. 100 pounds is a lot of weight. Let's just call it 50 pounds. You might be able to do it a couple times, but if I had you hold that 50 pounds for you know 30 seconds, you might fatigue really quickly. That's endurance. But then the longer you hold that, that's endurance. So endurance is the ability to hold for longer periods of time. And it's these same muscles have to have endurance because when they don't have endurance, then you start to move into patterns that start to aggravate the disc. Again, three movement patterns and you have to go in the right order. That's number two. Okay, because the key is when you don't, when you fatigue, you're going to aggravate the disc. Oh, that was number three, sorry. Number four is you start to restore the motion, reintegrate the nervous system. This is all about the amnesia, the glute amnesia, bilateral, unilateral. Sometimes you have it both sides, but it's worse on one, okay? So the key is solving that because when you don't have the proper motion, then you don't use your hips to, use, to bend. You use your spine, and the bending of the spine continues to aggravate it. But this is where we have to reset the nervous system, have to reset the software. Sometimes it's both sides, sometimes it's just one side. And then number five, this is the kicker. This is the exercises that you need to live your life, okay? Phase one is the relief routine. Relief routine is really good for getting rid of pain, but it doesn't make you any more durable or any more resilient. Going through the five steps, when you get to the end, then you have specific exercises for your activity. Whether you wanna run, dance, exercise in a weight room, okay? A lot of people want to say, look, I want to go back to lifting weights again. 
Possible. Very, 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 very possible. But you have to master the five components. You have to go through the right sequence. Again, the reason other treatments don't work is they're got you in the wrong pattern. I mean, they're giving you the wrong exercises or they're doing them in the wrong order. Those are the only two reasons. But it happens all day long. Every day. Every single day. Now, that's the 10X program. The 10X program, normally $997 okay, for the entire year. Patients come into our clinics, they pay upwards of $10,000. Okay, these are things that you can do at home. We've cracked the code, as they say. Helps you get your life back. So normally it's $997 for the year. What we're gonna do is we are gonna put you through the five steps and the five phases, and it's going to be just over a three month period. It takes about three months. Uh, but to get into the functional fitness takes longer, it takes upwards of a year. It's going to be $47 a month. So instead of paying $9.97 or coming into the clinic for $10,000, we can start in $47 a month. It takes about three months to really get things in the right direction and then it takes more time after that to really get the functional fitness for your activity. Some people after three months are completely happy, so that's all I want to do. But in the end, if you really, really, really want to live your life, this is how you do it. Trust me, I know. I lived it. I developed it out of my own pains, my own struggles. This is the way out. It's the only way out. You can go here. TotalBackPainRelief.com 10x order, but I'll have over here, I'll have a little thing that goes back and forth. You click on that, and right here there'll be a button. Click on the button, right here. That's it. That's my story. That didn't take as long as I thought, actually, so that was pretty good. So, I'm going to do a quick recap. There are five, uh, five, there are three movement patterns. And each of those patterns requires a separate set of movements, stretches, and exercises. So there's three, okay? There are five phases, and you need to go in the proper order to get through the program. And by the end of the program, you can do all the things you want to do. It takes one step, this first step. Because what we do, there's a lot of steps what we do, but. This first step is what helps you get your life back. That's it. Order. Now.